Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring you another action movie review, and this time we're going to be talking about Assassins, which came out in 1995, and of course starred Sylvester Stallone, pitted against Antonio Banderas, and co-starring the one and only Julianne Moore. Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here, meeting my icon, Catherine Isabel. Assassin Robert Rath arrives at a funeral to kill a prominent mobster only to witness rival hired gun Miguel Bain complete the job for him with grisly results. Horrified by the murder of innocent bystanders, Rath decides to take one less job and then return to civilian life, but finding his way out of the world of contract killing grows even more dangerous as Rath falls for his target Electra and becomes a marked man himself. So yeah, uh, Assassins, like I said, came out in 95 and was directed by Richard Donner. Richard Donner, you may recognize uh, from helming such movies as the original Superman film uh, with Christopher Reeve. He did uh, the first Lethal Weapon, I believe he did some of the other ones too, um, along with uh, a movie like, like uh, The Goonies. <laughs> um, so definitely a prominent director at the helm there. Um, and uh, the, the, the Google synopsis there didn't fully do this movie justice, okay. Um, another thing with uh, Sylvester Stallone's character Robert Rath is that he, he's, he's also reliving trauma from having to kill uh, someone pretty close to him um, years before the events of the this part of the story. Um, so he's kind of living with that as well. Um, so that's a big part of his character too. Um, I thought it was funny in the movie that, that the uh, synopsis didn't... Uh, you know, put that in there. Uh, but anyway, that's Google for you. Um, so yeah, uh, it feels good to be doing videos again, just let me say that. Um, I, I definitely want to get back into the swing of things. Instagram's been great, uh, though, so please, guys, uh, check out my Instagram account. Um, I post pretty much imme almost immediate movie reviews on there once I watch them, um, so you'll get my you know, quickest reactions on there. It's just, you know, easier for me to hop on Instagram than it is for me to come down here and do a video. Um, and also check me out on actionflix.com. Um, just look me up under uh, Bloody Jacob or Jacob Bloody Jacob, something like that. Uh, or, or just scroll through the site, you'll find a lot of the reviews I'm posting on there, which are, which are essentially just my Instagram reviews, but I do expand them a little, add some more detail, because Instagram does, uh, you know, cap cap with its word count, too. Uh, but yeah, I, I still really enjoy rambling in front of the camera, so do not worry about that. Um, but yeah, Assassins, I, I've always really, really liked Sylvester Stallone, okay? Um, and that, that fondness is very much turning into love, let me just say that. Uh, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger's always been my guy. He's been a, you know, hero to me since I was a kid. He was a childhood hero. Um, and he's still probably always going to be my favorite, you know, classic action hero and everything. Um, you know, then in terms of, like, martial arts, I love Van Damme. You know, I have a, you know, fondness for, for, for Seagal, if you didn't notice that. Um, you know, Michael Jai White, you know, Adkins, and Mark DeCascos, of course, and everyone in between. Um... But my fondness and love for Sylvester Stallone is really, really growing. Um, I'm, I'm gaining quite the admiration for him um, and his dedication to his films and uh, you know, different aspects about him I don't need to go into right now. Um, but I'm really just uh, falling for the guy. I, I, you know, I've seen a lot of his movies, but I'm, I'm still way behind on the bandwagon and I'm trying to uh, rectify that by going through his filmography and everything. I still gotta do a big video on all the Rocky movies at some point. Um, but yeah, Assassins is a 
I don't want to say peculiar one in his filmography, but it is different. Um, I'm sure there are some casuals who will watch this movie and you'll be kind of bored by it. You know, it's not like an action junkie kind of viewing. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> excuse me, but it's not. Um, it's it's much more of like a, an action thriller, I'd say. Um, it's not like guns are blazing, muscles glistening, you know, there's not even really much in the way of hand-to-hand -hand fight scenes. Um, it's definitely more of like a, th a thriller, it's more of like a chess match between uh, you know, Stallone and Banderas' characters. Um, and then of course Stallone trying to uh, keep Julian Moore's character Electra alive through uh, this uh, you know, kind of conspiracy within the organization that he's uncovering as he goes. Um, and yeah, so like I said, some people get bored by that if they're just wanting like Rambo 2, Rambo 3 style action or something like that. Um, but it, it's not that, and I, I was pleasantly surprised by that. Um, you know, it depends on your mood, what you want, of course, but... And hey, don't get me wrong, uh, this movie still does have some qu quite uh, superb action when it does want, when it does go for it. Um, you know, there are some uh, you know, really nicely done shootouts, and this, it's very nicely shot as well, and they do go for something a little bit more, you know, violent and visceral. Um, I think this is one of the better Stallone performances I've seen, especially, you know, at least in terms of uh, action, especially. And uh, he, he plays a little bit more of a reserve role in this, a little bit more kind of, I don't know if I want to say controlled, but you know, it's a different sort of role for him for sure. Uh, Antonio Banderas, on the other hand, is completely psychotic. <laughs> um, if you guys couldn't tell that, um, just I'm sure most of you have seen the movie already, but you know they're pretty much playing two polar opposite personalities. And like I said, Sylvester Stallone is great in this. Uh, Julianne Moore, uh, what can I say about her? She's one of my favorite actresses of all time. I think she's one of the greatest of our lifetime. Um, I, I absolutely adore her. Um, in fact, you know, just got her to notice me on, uh, you know, Instagram for a, a post I had made. She had, she had liked it, which was really nice. Um, for, uh, you know, wear orange and, you know, ending gun, gun violence and everything like that. Uh, but, you know, we, we don't need to go too far into that right now. Um, but she is a really great woman and, uh, one of those emotive actresses I've ever seen. So she, she's a great in this movie, a little bit of a different character for her too. Uh, she's a good person, but she's, you know, something of a con artist. Um, a bit of a thief, so it's, it's a little bit different for her too. I thought she was really great. Um, and uh, the movie it builds to a you know fairly sa satisfying ending that really brings everything together. You know, there's a twist or so that I thought worked pretty good. And uh, yeah, I, I really think this is uh, an overlooked gem in Sylvester Stallone's filmography. I think uh, it might be uh, one of, if not his best film in the '90s. Uh, you know, some some kind of bash his '90s flicks. Uh, some are better than others, but I think Assassins is kind of head and shoulders above some of them. And uh, I could see it definitely being a top five Sloan flick for me, personally, anyway. Uh, so yeah, I really enjoyed Assassins. Uh, it was one of the more kind of seriously, you know, credible, you know, not just straightforward action genre flicks for him. I think were actually works quite well for me. Uh, so yeah, please let you guys thought about this. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Instagram for sure, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.